welcome Snigda, who is upcoming SW intern in Visa. So Snigda, let's start this video with your introduction. Hi everyone, I'm Snigdha. I'm currently a B.Tech student at IGDTW and I'm pursuing ECAI. I'm in third year and I'm an upcoming SWE intern at Visa. And also I am one of the Cisco CWIS Boost program selects. So that's all about my introduction. First of all, Snigdha, congratulations. Thank you. Let's start the video. So moving to your DSA preparation, when you started DSA, and what are all the resources you used for your preparation, basically? Okay, so my DSA journey. Okay, it basically started uh, in the first year itself. I thought that I am a very self-motivated person. So maybe I'll pick up on uh, YouTube videos and get started with them. But uh, it didn't stick quite well for me. So I realized that I need a structure. I joined Coding Blocks, I think in September 2022. So that's when my actually DSA journey started, I would say. And uh, I used to like solve their assignments and, you know, write up notes and everything. But then then in January, I got this reality check that, okay, the internship season is quite like near and I should start uh, uh, lead coding as well. So I started doing lead code in January. What I did was I stick to Striver's A to Z DSA course wali jo sheet hai, that I took out and I solved each and every questions that were there in the sheet. So that's about my DSA journey. And uh, back in, I think, yeah, during the mid sims and during the end sims, obviously, you know, you have to focus when you are from EC, you are from code branches, you have to study your core subjects because if you don't, then end sims and mid sims will be very hard. So during that time, I couldn't do DSA that much. But if there was some subject that was easy, or maybe if I had two or three days ka gap in between. So what I used to do was I tried to solve a question daily, or maybe, you know, revise my notes. Because what we forget to do is revise our own notes, right? What we keep on doing is because in DSA, we always need to be in touch with all the data structures all the time, or else it is so volatile and it will get all over your head if you don't do it for a month and all. So. Yeah, that was it. But the actual, you know, for the interview, wali jo DSA preparation, hai, it started after the end sims. So in May, I used to solve earlier, like I used to solve five to six questions daily. Then I moved to solving 10 questions daily. So that was it till the time I got an internship. That was all about my DSA prep journey then. Okay, Snigda, next moving to resume wala part. How you made your resume? What are the tips from your side to the juniors for resume? Achha, for resume. Okay, so the first thing is that you all must have made resume for Google Step, I guess, and Uber C++. And this is not the resume that you would be taking forward to the third year unless or until you put in all the efforts that you could have. So first thing is go and make an account on Overleaf. You have to scroll and maybe, you know, go through various formats or, the, uh, you know, CV types and they have their various formats and everything. So I took this one format that I liked. Why I would suggest that you should use Overleaf is because the spacing and the you know alignment, you don't have to worry about it. It is all, you know, just they're just pieces of code. So it's very well managed there. So that one thing, you, oh, is my alignment okay? Is are there too many spaces? Or I should add more spaces while you do the it's no longer there. And uh, Baki, this is about how your resume should look present presentable, right? Uh, talking about the contents, obviously you should write your skills first. People can also write their education, but I prefer to write my skills first. When you write your skills, don't write things that you don't know. Like I had a friend and she like wrote JS and she wasn't very well versed with it. And then they asked questions on JS, so don't do that. If you are maybe a beginner, then you can write you know, beginner, or if you're at intermediate level, you can just write JavaScript intermediate, right? You don't have to write the skills you don't know, or even if you've just started, they'll start keeping, uh, they'll start asking questions on whatever you've written on your resume, and then they'll like point you out and be like, Are to tumne bola to, you know, how do, how come you don't know, right? And they'll reject you then and there. And for soft skills, don't write as a paragraph, okay? Don't write 10 or ki puri das ki das skills. Any top five skills of yours would do, okay? And I think if you have good projects, you should mention, I think, two or three. Don't mention more than three projects. And what will be the output and everything, right? In two to three lines, again, 
tell the duration in which you worked on it and you can also write your tech stack there okay you can also write about your honors and you know the uh, any uh, like awards you've been given like any ha- hackathon you won or maybe you know if uh, people are like good at you know you can also write your code forces rating and etc people do that right and i think that uh, if you have not participated in enough hackathons or your projects are not that good then maybe make a small projects in something and your community involvement like participation in societies should be good then right then you can explain your positions and you know roles of responsibility and very briefly again <laughs> don't write stories people do that and once you make your resume this is not the final resume you get it reviewed by a senior okay and maybe someone you know in the industry maybe can help you out i don't know right so i reached out to my seniors and i helped them ki acha ye lo mera resume please tell me kya dikkat hai and they circled so many things you don't write this you don't write this it's not professional this and that okay so you get it corrected and then after two three tries you finally make a good decent resume so i would suggest that you start working on resume as soon as you can so that you are able to get a very decent resume by the start of the internship right that's all about the things that i should i think that are necessary for resume thank you sunikha mm, next part is what was the oa pattern for the visa okay so for visa we had four questions and they were about uh, lead code medium to hard questions okay so uh, i think that we had to solve all we had to try to solve all four of them in 90 minutes that was the time frame so yeah that was about it and uh, they gave you scores based on the uh, like the level of the question like there were i think two uh, beginner questions there was this one medium question and one intermediate so if you get it right like uh, depending on the score they uh, like selected people for the interview okay sninga next part is your interview experience like how many uh, interviews were there two technical one technical one hr just tell about that okay so for visa we had only one round it was both tech plus hr more like a lead tech round i would say okay so they basically uh, first started with my introduction and everything they skimmed my resume very well and they literally pointed out at a project i was doing on voice assistants okay i was making this voice assistant so it's still like i was still working on it so i wrote that work is still in progress it's not complete so he said that what is that one project that is still in progress like they read your resume in detail so you should know that what you have written where you have written you should like you should actually mug up whatever you have written in your resume so i told him about it and then he asked me to share my screen and you know uh, share my github uh, uh, like screen and he asked me to make him understand each and every line of code okay and then i made one question i made one project on machine learning so he asked me many questions on basics of machine learning and then he looked at my roles of uh, you know roles of uh, um, like my roles and whatever my volunteering experiences are so he said that okay you work in the society okay so you must face an issue right like you work at a technical resources or the president right there must be some things that people working under you might feel ki acha yaar we are doing a lot of manual work here what if we digitalize it okay so he asked me the similar kind of question for a society that i've been working for and he said that how, what are the problems and how would you digitalize them so that was an on the spot question so i said something that came to my mind and i was like okay so you need to be you know well aware of other technologies like first year me people do say na that try to venture all the technologies that are there so that you can exactly give them an answer maybe tell them that okay this is something on the top of my mind i don't know how to implement it but i know that this is something that should be done so this was done on my projects and everything and like on the very basic detailing then he moved on and he asked me to questions on binary search trees i think one he asked that lead codes validate whether a tree is a binary search tree and then i was asked that okay this is an array and you have to make a binary search tree he didn't ask me to write the entire code he said okay you can just write the pseudo code and he asked me about how many recursive calls i have to write and about the time complexity we had a great discussion at it and that uh, like uh, like if i may, i like literally wrote two semicolons so he literally pointed that out too so and i was like okay this is just a pseudo code right he just asked me for the pseudo code but okay whatever you write 
and whatever you've been told to write just be very careful because they are very particular about how you're writing and everything okay and i think after that there were some basic hr questions like what are your strengths what are your weaknesses why do you work, why do you want to work for visa and that's all and then it was all of a 45 minute to one hour long uh, interview okay snigta last part is do's and don'ts from your side to the juniors okay so do's and don'ts okay ha ah, where do i start okay let's start with your dsa journey i guess don't start late if you are in the first year and you are struggling with ki acha should i start web development pehle ya should i start machine learning pehle no you will start dsa pehle okay this is and especially for the people who are from ec background or mechanical background and they really want to you know get into software roles you should know that dsa is that one thing you should be well versed with okay and uh, so basically start your dsa journey early and do make notes i have seen people who don't make notes and i think that it's not a good habit you know think ki acha yaar main to dekh liya to main kar hi lungi nahi hota theek hai and whenever you solve a question there are two type of people don't be either of them theek hai what they do is there is this one person who will spend the entire day doing that question theek hai they're wasting a lot of time they could have done more questions then this is other person they say acha medium ka question hai they won't have a pen or a paper by their side and they would just look at the question and be like yaar ye to ho nahi raha hai kaam karte ho uska solution dekh lete ho right you look at the solution and you realize you could have solved it again you would think that you will be able to solve it the next time you revisit it if you face a similar question or you revisit the same question in a week or a two you would still st- uh, get stuck because you didn't actually apply your brains so whenever you are dealing with coding questions when you whenever you are solving them try to have a pen and a paper with yourself try to solve it first think of the approach first if you have if you have decided that i won't give more than one or two a medium question then 45 minutes should be given to thinking of logic and 15 minutes for writing the code because you can code in any language coding is not a problem coming up with the solution is so that's what i would say and uh, i would say that uh, there is also this one thing that i face problem with like i also give interview for two more companies and i didn't get selected i didn't get selected so uh, what were the things that i did wrong or that i think that i wasn't revising all the topics daily like ek hafta i did graphs and the next week i did uh, maybe dp and the next week i was doing trees now what happens is week 4 i look at graphs and i'm like are ye kya tha ye kaise ho raha tha tab to mera flow bana hua tha so you will face this issue so to curb it what you should do is that i would say that if you are revising linguis aaj so you should do two questions of linguis today try doing stack and queues ka ek question today and maybe try to revise theory of graph or maybe dp next day you do a question on graph maybe do two questions on graph maybe do one question of dp and then maybe you can read notes of uh, linguis and stack and queues that is what you should do you should keep in touch with each and every you know topic every day and uh, uh, talking about the core subjects if you are from ec background this is the time please start making notes so that uh, when whenever your internship drive starts you are thorough with whatever you've done and you can just you know flip your notes and you'll be like okay okay fine i'm ready you don't have to give that much time to core subjects at that time that, uh, then you can just you know revise your projects and maybe revise dsa at that point of time so that's something i would say not a do's and don't and also before the interview don't panic it's just you and the interviewer no one else would know koi tum kya kar raha shame nahi kar raha ki ha tumne ye tumhe ye tab kaise strike nahi kara ya tumne itna ganda solution kaise bana diya how could you write that theek hai no one is going to shame you it's just you and the interviewer and the interviewer understands that you are a kid okay and that you can make mistakes okay you are human so don't panic if you have done your preparation right you will get into a good company so you don't have to worry if you don't get selected in your first time and always learn from your mistakes always try to write down whatever the interviewer is saying right the questions maybe first jot it down and then start speaking first think and then speak ki acha this is what i came up with take your time and chill pani piyo and relax karo dimag ko kaam rakho to interviews ho jate hain acche se to yeah you do's and don'ts i think mere end se 